What's my guys? Happy uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Don't even know what I'm doing. It is so hot. So anyway, yeah, I went outside and my hair kind of went like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So yeah, that was a, a little interesting, wasn't it? I so, said, yeah, what did you guys think of yesterday's video? What did we do? The, the cunning spell and the uh, feather protection spell and the one to uh, protect us while we're on our journeying and, you know, using the link between the mouse and the fox and all of that. So I think that's pretty interesting. Um, I do want to do a video on Malthus. <sighs> the information that I'm receiving from Malthus, the visions that I'm getting already are him. Um, basically in a cloak of feathers so it's like almost like a raven so he's coming at like the the strangest honestly the strangest times in, in the bathroom i mean what why would malthus come to me in the bathroom and he is coming and he's got these piercing blue i mean they they look like he's been crying all the time but they are just like these blue blue i don't even know what color blue like ocean blue that kind of color blue and they're just watery but I mean he's not really pale he's pretty dark I mean he's a pretty dark man or you know a yeah a man so he does come in the form of a man um, and it was kind of like he had wrapped himself with a with a fur coat of actual live ravens and crows so that's kind of how he's been coming to me and he's been telling me a lot of stuff and the information is very quickly it's, it's like downloads, it's bursts of information that come from him. And he is definitely connected to the Annabelle doll now, from the video, from the films and all that stuff. So he's definitely, um, yeah, he's embedded in these uh, movies. So it's just crazy. It is really crazy. So without me, well, I've heard of Malthus before, all of this crap, the Conjuring crap, but wow. It's, it's weird. It's a really strange. I mean, I love the energy. It's just, it's, it's just really cool. It's kind of a devilish smile. It's kind of a crooked little, like a, a crooked grin. And it's just, it's amazing. It literally is amazing. There's a really big sexual energy about him. I think it's an attraction. But it is really cool. It's just so cool. I mean, to see that. And he's got this really, I mean, uh, it's, it's almost like the perfect classic devil goatee quote quote devil yeah but it's just weird it's it's i mean it's cool it's, it's amazing so i don't know i i don't know I, I i don't think i'm ready to fully work with him yet so i'm gonna let these visions and i'm gonna let him come to me as he wants so and yeah that being said let's move on so we have uh collecting plant material for magical use and we all know that we you know you don't just go outside and you know cut a cut a piece of you know whatever a limb off a tree because the dryad you know you have to build that rapport so <laughs> i can't eat my cigarettes <laughs> i don't know if malthus smokes but <laughs> this has been wild so right now i'm collecting plant material so now you're going to have clear in your mind which plant that you wish to collect and why you have got to get that down fast and correctly so all one. What did I write there? Oh, alone, not L, all one. So alone, uh, preferably at dawn or dusk, go to a place where the plant grows in profusion. That means a lot, bountiful. You don't want to take, you know, a little bit of what's left of an endangered species of plants. So just like we can't, you know, do that with um, animals. So. Um, explain aloud or silently to the plant um, what you are going to do and why. Then wait for a little bit for the plant to absorb the information. And we do know that plants actually feel. They have feelings and they do communicate. So, you can literally transfer your thought process to a plant um, saying, Hey, do you mind if I take a piece, just a little piece of you, and um, I will repay you with, you know, a little bit of honey or milk or bread. So, I mean, it's pretty, it's... The scientific world is really catching up with this aspect of wart cunning or, you know, herb craft and nature magic. So it's just really interesting. Okay, so then as swiftly and cleanly as you can, cut the material that you need with a, a non-iron blade. So, you're going to take a little from each of a group of plants rather than a lot from one. So as to not to do any, you know, one plant um, irreplaceable harm. 
and do not let the plant material that you have gathered touch the ground once it's cut, but keep it in a clean cloth. So yeah, it's to absorb other energies. It can, you know, you know, it really can absorb other energies and it'll just ruin and cancel out your magic for what you're doing. So once you have um, gathered, like, once you have enough, give your thanks to the plant or plants and leave a small offering such as bread, wine, milk, mead, or honey and go straight home. <laughs> go straight home, everybody. No sidetracks. Now, depending on your use for the plant or plants, you can either use it um, immediately or dry it out for later use. Now, if drying, tie the plant material up in bundles and hang in a warm, dark place until it is dry. Then, store it in a clean, dry, um, airtight container, labeling it carefully. So, yes, um, I use twine. I talk to the plant, I use twine, I tell it what I'm going to do with it, I tell it that I'm going to, you know, let it um, kind of dry out. And I had my basil and my sweet basil and my uh, white ceremonial sage and my regular sage and my mint, which took over the entire garden, and it came back too. So it just keeps coming back, mint does. So you guys can kind of see them there hanging a little bit. And I always use twine. I don't use anything that's um, like synthetic, nothing like that. So Now keep out of the direct sunlight until you need it. <clears throat> you need to use it. So uh, plants thus gathered. I love this. Plants thus gathered. Uh, will usually have a shelf life of about a year. True. Herbs go bad. Oils go bad too. Keep them in a dark, cool place. <laughs> or you're going to be out a lot of money. I learned that the hard way. So, um, well, you you will need to uh, renew your supply when the plant is in season. Um, the next time it's in season. Now, if cutting the aerial parts of the plant, which is the uh, leaves and the flowers, cut them on the waxing moon. If cutting the fruits, take them at the time of the full moon or a day either side of it. So that's why I always say the day of, or um, one day before, or a day after. I go one day of the full moon, three days before, three days after. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know where I read that, but it's just, it's always worked for me. So this kind of confirms a little bit of that, what I've been saying to a lot of people, three days before the day of, and the three days after, but you could do one day before the day of, and then a day after. So now, if taking the root of a plant, cut at the time of the waning moon but make sure there are plenty of the same plants in the area because taking the root will obviously kill the whole plant unlike gathering the leaves and the fruits. So yeah. Um, as well as the moon tides, the solar cycle should also be taken into account. So the best time to cut leaves in the spring when they are fresh and full of life. Fruits will obviously be gathered in their own season, but roots are best gathered in autumn or winter. I would say autumn because it's really hard to get them up if you're gonna dig in dirt, uh, especially uh, icy dirt. That's really, really hard. <laughs> now when um, the plant is dying back and um, drawing all its energy down to the root for winter. A final note in this section. It is now illegal. It's illegal now for many plants to be taken from the wild due to their scarcity. So do check the status of any plant you intend to collect before cutting it. If it is on the prohibited list, the alternative is to go buy it. Go buy your own plant from a good garden center, or grow them from the seed yourself. You can always purchase them online. I mean, the root, root, of, the, root of the art, art of the root, art of the root. Amazing herbs. Herbs, oils, all of it. So, and this can quickly become an obsession, and you'll be looking for spare space in your garden very soon. So yeah, it's, it does become an obsession, the plants. <laughs> A lot of my friends, I have a lot of friends, like my, my uh, cosmetologist friends, my hairstylist friends, they all uh, really love plants, and I have one girl that I love to death. She reminds me of just this little, like, beautiful little fairy, and she's just so delicate, and I just love her to death, and, you know, she cuts hair, and she's wonderful. She's obsessed with plants, and I love it. Her entire store, well, her, her shop, her, her, her beauty shop, is covered in plants, and it's just beautiful. It really is. So, tomorrow we'll go into entering the twilight, the other realms. But yeah, if you overwater a plant, too, I learned this from her, take a tampon, stick it in the dirt. It'll absorb a lot of the water. I don't know if it works. I've seen her do it. I don't know if it was just a joke, but she's very funny, so I don't know. But I think that's hilarious to take a tampon and, you know, just kind of, I was like, oh, God, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. 
All right, so let's go on to some coffee talk and see. But yeah, I don't know if the tampon thing works. All I seen was a giant plant uh, that was, you know, overwatered and it had a tampon in it and it was growing and you could see the little string. I just thought it was hilarious. If you ever watch my videos, you know exactly who you are and you know I love you to death because you are one amazing person. <laughs> but yeah, so do you guys know anything about that? Like, I know you're, you, it's very hard to kill, um, um, an aloe vera plant. What did I do? I killed it. Um, my praying hands plant I've had for 13 years. Never, yeah. Never, ever have I had a problem with that one. Alright. Let's see. Let's see what's going on today. See, I'm just really, I mean, I mean, just, I am so excited f about Malthus. I really am. I mean, there's, you know, uh, he, I think he's got um, 21 or 25 rules of love. And it's just, it's it's really incredible. It really is incredible. The stuff that he, he confers and the magic that he, yeah, it, it's just, I love it. I, I do. Alright. Comments. It is really hot outside. It's only like 80 and it's like 98. Feels like 98. That's our dew point. It's terrible. It's 100%. Okay. Let's see if the comments will load for me. I'm trying slowly to get back for the Ouija. I, I know people are waiting for me for a Ouija session. Um, and it's just, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be back on the Ouija. Right now, Chero has been just my thing. It's just, it's pretty easy, but I did want to have a session. A special session with the Ouija. Just to see what I could find out on a certain subject. <laughs> Alrighty. Hi, guys. Alright, Tiffany Venord? Hi. Hey, Ryan. Hi. Uh, how have you been? Haven't talked to you in a long time. That's if you remember me. Barely. I barely do. Thank you. Hi. How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're well. I hope everything is good. Uh, Diane Hannon. I think if I had to use, if, to use, I'd use a plastic or rubber mouse, because I just couldn't. I could. I could. Yeah. If it was, if it was dead. So... Oh, I know, I know, it's still tough. It's like, oh, the poor mouse. Diane Hannon, Arg, I need to write down your YouTube schedule. I don't really have one because I just kind of do my thing. So I'll be live today here in a little bit, though. Gustavo, yep. Oh, the Saturday storm. Did you guys see that? That was a, Yeah, that was a funnel cloud. Definitely. That was really scary. I'm terrified of tornadoes, if you guys, yeah. And there I am outside, like filming it. Diane Hannon. Hello. Gustavo, my brother. Hi. Lady Witch. Cindy Miller. Hi you. Santa Muerte Ana Harley. Brent Edwards. Lord Welb, the partial son. Thank you for your comments. I miss I miss you. I do. I love it when you pop in. Cara Le Lacusta. Hi. Jay Phoenix. Hi my bro. Beetle Depp 3000. Diane Hannon. I love you to death. <laughs> I do. J. Phoenix, Alexandra Hill. There's many ways to spell Beltane, darling. Many ways. All right. Um, Ava Lagasse. Hi, Susie Savitar. Are you guys arguing? No, that was a year ago. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. Uh, my queen of negativity. How are you, love? How are you? How are you? J. Anthony W. Hi. Shout out. Ooh, what's going on? Um, Alchemy of Life. What book is this? Egyptian mythology and gods and goddesses names of ancient Egypt. Um, the Union of Isis and Thoth. Kate the Witch. Hi, my darling. I love you so much. I love you all, really. Alisa uh, Oaks. Hi, you. I love you. Mr. Dizzy Von Clutch. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's good stuff. All right. Diana. Hi. Sky Sullivan. Hi, my love. S. Chloe Flores, hi. Cat Braun, you're such a darling, I love you. Janelle Longoria, hi. Alright guys, I think that's all the comments for today. I'm burning up. 
looks like I'm going to die. Um, I'll see you guys live here in a few. So, I love you all with all my heart. Please be safe, stay healthy. Don't be peacing out on me. Don't be going anywhere on me. So, with that being said, I love you all. All my love, all the way from Venus, of course, always. And all the way back down. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Um, or I'm alive here in a few minutes. So, I love you guys. And be safe.